Welcome back, viewers. I did tell you we have another wonderful guest in the house who is going to... Let me just give you a little history. This beautiful lady wrote her graduation song. Yeah. At that time, she was attending Manchester High School, so she's not new to the thing. I'm going to say welcome. That's Leela Ike yeah, to man. Hype TV. How are you? Blessings. It's a pleasure to be here. Thanks for having me. I'm still surprised at the fact that you wrote your graduation yeah. song. I mean, give me a little, you know, insight on what inspired um, you to do that, you know? You know, being in school and being a creative person, I'm uh -huh. always just singing like people we just say, yo, come sit in another class here and sing this song for me or whatever. So um, when it was time for us to graduate, I just wrote a song that I personally felt like, I this me want to sing because mm. I don't want, you know, a graduation, everybody want you to sing the regular, what I'm call it, that, that R. Kelly song there, I will leave again, I say, <laughs> our year group, oh special, my. you know, we, yeah. not, we, need, we need a different vibe. And so I wrote a song, shared it with a friend of mine, Najee, and she had an aunt that was working on the school board, so she shared it with her. She shared it with the music teacher, and the music teacher said, no, man, mm. yeah, we, everything else we'll practice. <laughs> we're not going to bother with that. We're going to use I wonder if you got an award for just for that. No, you know. <laughs> but, you know, the greatest award is just being in a graduating class and being yes. able to perform a song that, you know, I wrote and the entire, it wasn't a case where it was forced on the, the class. Everybody was excited to sing it. Mm. And more importantly, me sit down and see my mother in the, in the audience, a ball, you know, she with the so self. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, you know, that's a great accomplishment in itself. Oh, wow. You know, Lila, I, I must mention that you've been working with Protégé. Yeah, I man. I mean, you're a bastard for me, you know. Protégé the general, for sure. He's How doing, has that been going? You it's know? been a blessing, you know, being a, being a, being a young lady wanting to do music in the way that I'm doing it. Mm -hmm. It's not necessarily something where raise heads easily un unless you have something super special about you, whether looks or otherwise. Right. That's just how the business is. So if you see a man like that really, you know, decide, say, yo, he's going to work with me, put me on his team and just take over the thing, uh, promote the music, bring me on stage with right. him all over the world. It's, it's such a blessing, especially that a man is doing that and I never have to do nothing exactly. but, <laughs> but write the song. <laughs> you know, just write the song there, man. Just be myself, you know. It's a blessing. How has the feedback been in the streets? And I mean, on the international landscape as well. Trust me, man, it's been really great. And that's like very humbling for me. This is something I'm used to just in my room in front of my mirror, seeing, you know, and I pretend to me on tour and for just see it happening. And people always are telling me, say, yo, that song, uh -huh. biggest fan, I really like it. Got it, got it, me love it. I released Second Chance where they were. Everybody seemed to just be getting on board with it. It's been really great. Internationally, like the love where, we find people have for reggae music is amazing. Right. Like, yeah. you go up on a stage, I perform the people in my dance from your start. All when the show are done, them still in their whole of vibes, you know? I think it's, it's really just the great. full, um, the, the soulfulness of a reggae yeah, man, music. And the power of, of the music will come out of Jamaica. It's not normal. Mm -hmm. When you think about something where, where, where Bob Marley and Peter Tosh and all of them did, in the time that they did it, did it. I mean, if you think about it, we are some of the most oppressed people and we manage to push the most positivity. You know, where we get that strength mm. from for just a, throughout all what we go through, we still manage to just uplift people, create something as beautiful as reggae music. It's amazing. And uh, what's also amazing, this brand new track, Second Chance. <laughs> yeah, man, it's <laughs> a know, really nice song. You have to tell us what inspired you to write that lyric. Boy, I want to tell us a Second Chance now. I don't, I, I, I literally did not write that song. That was just a natural inspiration, a divine thing where I went to a studio, a friend of mine, his uncle had a studio and he'd been trying to get me to come to the studio with him. But, you know, he never really strike me as a super conscious person. Like, <laughs> my God, a studio, I mean, I know what he expect, but right. I'm a bridging. And he said, come through and I'm uncle who is an elder. I said, all right, then fine, me go go. And I remember the day I was in a short shots and the engineer in the studio, like when he saw me, he's like, yeah, man, I know it's rhythm for gear, man, and him draft here, dance, soak a rhythm. I mean, whatever it is in a music, a music. You right. can't bash none of the music, them. everything is music. So I was ready to go ahead and put something on it, okay. you know? 
But then the, the engineer that I rolled with, a producer named Dennis Greatest, work with Wayne J. He said, no man, gear, gear, a one drop rhythm or one of them things there, that's a fair style. The elder said, eh, I have a rhythm on my build today, and I'm going to see what you're going to deal with it. And when I went in the booth and him start playing the rhythm from here, the bass line, I just start the song and I never stop until, you know, and so that's what like came one out. One go. One go. Second chance. Yeah. Imagine that. Imagine <laughs> that. Yeah, man. It's a beautiful, beautiful experience for me too, because... I went way above the range that I thought, like, as a singer, you have a comfortable spot where you yeah. stay. Mm -hmm. Especially me, where I wasn't trained, none at all, for sing. Never been in a choir school, no. My mother just never believed in the extracurricular, nothing. <laughs> Go to school, come home, church, come home. So I never really get much training. So that was just me in the studio exercising my vocals. I try to push it a little further. Right. And that's what came out. <laughs> Boy, I think I'm I'm waiting. I'm ready to hear a second <laughs> chance. And I think before we even ask any further questions, I want for you to go ahead and introduce your music on yeah, high TV. Turn the camera on me. I look. That's all. Yes, this sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. All yes, right. Sir. Boom. Yeah, man. This is Leela Ike. I want to name second chance. You know, we need more love in other music, and that's what I'm promoting in this one. So, take a listen and enjoy it. <laughs> 